This is it. This is the finale. We're finally at scenario five. I'm super hyped and excited for this. Uh, win or lose, this is this is how it's going to end. So hopefully uh, we can get this. Red Skull looks pretty tough right now. You know what's funny? It's always like Zola's always seen as the harder one, and I get it for sure. Um, but it just feels like this is going to be like a, a bit rough. I don't know. I'm a little nervous about this. So anyway, let us jump down to the table and finish setting up. All right, so here we go. Uh, we got to finish getting set up. We have five and eight light. Oh, it'd be good if I was on the right side. So with Rise of Red Skull and the expert setup, uh, so each player searches their deck for all cards in the set of keyword, puts them on play. Shuffle each experimental weapons recorded into the deck. Okay, so place threat uh, equal to the number of delay counters recorded in the campaign log, which is uh, was seven, I believe. It was seven, so bring it up to 14 on Rise of Red Skull, which is just nuts. Uh, because we're on expert, it's gotta be higher. So uh, it'd be 10. 14. I think we had seven if I remember correctly. So this all gets shuffled up, which means we're going to be really aggressive right out of the gate of just getting threat off of there. I don't know if we can keep Tony down now, but I'm hoping if we draw a lot of cards, we can maybe get like his doubles and stuff and do so. I don't know, but we do, we need to heal up Steve, which stinks. It's just, there's so much to do. There's so much to do. And we need to get that rise of red skull down um we could technically let it pop and just move on with our lives but like that also doesn't feel like a great move because then we get extra side schemes maybe we just let it go well wait wait what is the happens on this side of things yeah not much different and there's 22 on that so at least that's doable now we should probably keep it on one for as long as we can and we make a final push uh that will help us yeah, it seems like the right thing to do. Ugh, okay. All right, I think we're all set up. Good to go. Let's draw up with Steve and see what we get. Two, four, six. Serum is good. I don't know if the helmet makes a difference. Fear's determination is probably good. Oh, endurance could be really good. All right, let's dump these three cards. One, two, Three. All right, and then we have to finish that by looking for a shield on the bottom, of course. Okay. And then Tony gets. Oh, before we uh, keep going, sorry. First place should also be over here. Um, we have to get uh, when we reveal the deal each person encounter card. Before I forget, two, four, six. Come on, Tony, get me some stuff. <sighs> this is terrible. Though playing X might be good. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna get rid of all these cards. Draw back up. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm. Oi, okay. I was going to get... All right, we need the futurist ability to pay off big time. Because I want to get Nick Fury out there. But X might be the better play for now. I don't know. I don't know. This, that just doesn't look great over there. <laughs> All right, so let's exhaust Steve to heal eight on him. So he's back up to eight. Then um, we can dump two cards to play the serum. We can use the serum to play the shield. We can flip up. We can use Fearless Determination to draw a card. It's a double. We'll use the double to play team training. And then we're going to throw away a card to ready up. Now we can thwart for three. So we're going to do that. I have to increase this amount. Too. So we'll thwart for three. This brings down to 11. Okay. Um, I think if we play X and confuse the villain, we can stay down as Tony. I think that's going to be our goal. So let's use the Futurist. Oh my God. We're just getting rid of all of our good cards. Gosh, this is not great. Let's use a double and repulsor blast to play x he's gonna give it to you um okay so let's dump two no no that's not let's play sh i feel like we can't stay down we'll keep the confuse on yeah let's flip up we're gonna flip up to tony actually in doing so now we don't have enough tactics cards or enough cards we could do two 
No, no, no. All right, we're going to go for it. We're going to give it a tactical scanner and draw five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Big money, big money. Okay, not big money. It's actually terrible money. So, we can then do one card, two card, three card. Uh, we'll give her the boots now. Four card to play Nick Fury. We get to draw three cards. Be some doubles. Ugh, okay. Um, we can throw away two cards to play the arc reactor. And then throw away surveillance team to play the helmet. And then play Shang-Chi as well. Now, we only get three cards now. So we're going to have to like flip down and finagle this. But what this allows us to do, essentially. Actually, what we can do first. Hold on. Let's do X going to give it to you. Then remove three off of the six. This brings it down to three. Then we can thwart three. And get rid of Red House. That's gone for now. Um, in doing so, we get to draw a card. Ingenuity. Are you kidding me? This is not what we want right now. God, this is terrible. All right. We can do the helmet and arc reactor. So let's do arc reactor to ready yourself up. We can throw another three. So this is at 11, 10, 9, 8. This brings down to 8. Five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we can do the helmet to remove one threat. We're going to have to flip down. This is going to be a really inefficient hand for Tony, but that's all right. Um, okay. So then we will remove two more threat off of here. So it brings down to five. Why does he have retaliate? Why did I give him retaliate? I don't remember. I might have had that from some other token movement. Um, so we have that. So Shang can deal two damage, bring him down to 30. Okay. And then we stop there. We stop there. We hold on to these cards. I think we'll draw our extra card. We'll have Nick and X block. I think we're okay. Uh, hopefully we're okay. One, two, three, four, five. US Agent, Hawkeye, Heroic Strike could be nice. Steve's Apartment could be nice. All right, we'll see. So we draw one, two, three cards. Not great. Okay, Supersonic Punch. We can do the Futurist ability, draw a card, get Ingenuity. When we flip down, yeah, yeah that's that's going to be our play. All right, so this goes up by two. Now we get to put a side scheme in play. Uh, mass Chaos. Okay. So when we reveal each player discards the five cards. One, two, three, four, five for each symbol. Uh, mental energy. Okay, so two symbols. Mental and energy. Let's go some two. Five cards. One, two, three, four, five. I don't think we have any tech upgrades, do we? No. Uh, also two symbols. So two more goes on to there. So it's up to four total that we have to get rid of, which is doable. All right. Um, so, and plus he's confused. That's good. Let's do, uh, what is it? Captain America first. Sorry, I forgot to ready this up. X is going to block this. So, Red Skull is attacking for two. Undefended attack. It's not undefended. Knocks out X. Now he's going to attack Iron Man. Iron Man's going to block this with Nick Fury for two, three. Give him a tough status. That's fine. Knocks out Nick Fury. All right, extra bad card. We just have to get through this round of bad cards, and I feel like we can hang in there. This is like the hardest part ish right here. All right, here we go. Uh, discard an upgrade or support you control. Give it a team training. Uh, okay, after it makes an undefended attack against you. All right, we'll deal with that later. Bad card, guard, and when defeated. All right, I don't care about the guard. Oops, put that there. Sorry, this is blurry, isn't it? All right. Don't have to care about the guard as much, but we do have to worry about that stuff. And then we have to get, uh, get a one defeated token on there. All right. So next one is <laughs> the villain schemes. Of course he does. Schemes for three. Exhaust a character you control. Uh, we'll exhaust Sean. Or exhaust a character you control for each side scheme in play. Sorry. There's one side scheme. All right. So it's three onto there. So that's 10 total. And Shang is exhausted, which stinks. Not the worst thing, but it stinks. Okay. Round two. Here we go. So, with Iron Man. Um, okay, so what we can do is use the helmet to remove one threat from here. We can exhaust three to take out Mass Chaos, which is so nice that we can do that. So that's gone. We get to exhaust this so we can draw a card. Be a double. We can then... 
throw away two cards to play Ingenuity. I'm going to use the Arc Reactor to ready myself up and thwart three more off of here brings down to seven. Oops, that's the wrong token. We'll let that go. I'm going to then flip down, use the Futurist ability. All right, get the double, use the double to play uh, the Gauntlets. And that's everything on that side that we can really do. And he's flipped down. All right. I want to get rid of him though. Um, actually, we could probably do that. So, let's dump two cards in this to do, no. Yeah, to do Heroic Strike on the Flame Soldier and just get rid of him. Just get rid of him. Throw away a card to put in Steve's apartment. Um... I am going to thwart two off of here. Keep that down a little bit. And then this way, Cap can defend the attack. I mean, he's still pretty good there. Yeah, I think that will work out fine. Okay. Let's ready everything up. Draw up Tony's hand size of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, Electra's good for some attacks some double. We can still do Futurist. All right, that, that might be okay. We have to figure out what's going on with that, but that's all right. So five on this side. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, heroic Strike. Okay, that might be that might be all right. So this goes up by two. So that's seven out of 16. Put this in, which is the Sleeper as Awaken. When you reveal, put the Sleeper into play engage with the first player. Then remove the Sleeper's def or when the Sleeper's defeated. All right, so it comes in with Tough. This is the big hurdle to get over, right? So it comes in with tough, retaliate, and guard. Guard's already in play from this. That's fine. The sleeper engages the first player. Okay, that's just when reveals. It doesn't stay with the first player. Okay. Um, so that was that. So now he's going to scheme against us. He's confused. Nothing happens. He's going to scheme for one. That's fine. He's going to scheme for one. That's fine. So it's nine out of 16. Uh, Red Skull's now going to attack Cap. Cap's going to defend for four against one, two, three. Takes no damage. Uh, we do get to ping off the tough, and we defend it against attack, so we get to draw a card, which is Moon Knight. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, uh, back card here. Back card here. First back card is Surge and Exhaust your Identity. Come on. I was going to heal, but I guess not anymore. Uh, it comes in with tough. Okay. I have three enemies I got to deal with over here. Don't know how we're going to do that yet. <laughs> and master plan. Place four threat on each side scheme. Okay, so that comes in with four. This actually works out really well with the sleeper because that doesn't matter. I assume you can just do that, right? Place four threat on each side scheme. There's no side schemes in play. Uh, you discard until whatever, but there is a side scheme in play. It's sleeper awakened. So, and that just chills there and just gets removed. So I think we're actually good with that. Okay. Let's figure out life now. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to flip down with Steve at some point. Let's first play Moon Knight. And I don't know what Moon Knight does yet. We'll figure that out later. But Moon Knight comes into play. One, two, three, four. Let's do one, two, three, four, five to play Giant Man. Giant Man's going to get two extra attack. And he's going to just wipe out Hydra Soldier. Deal the engaged player and encounter card. Okay. We get an encounter card over here. That's fine. Moon Knight. We will have. Ping off the tough. Takes a consequential. I'm going to flip down and do Steve's apartment. Uh, so we'll exhaust it to heal one, brings it up to nine, and we get to draw a card. Throw it away. All right, so now it's Tony's turn. So what we want to do is use a... Ooh, I don't know, actually. All right, we'll use the Futurist ability first. All right, we'll get the gauntlet. That's fine. Now, we can play an ally one cheaper because of Steve's thing. It's the first ally played this round. Oh, no, we already played an ally, so we can't do that. Never mind, never mind, never mind. So let's use a double to play uh, Ironheart. 
Let's just draw a card. Supersonic Punch. We get an extra back card. Shuffle this up. Okay. Uh, hmm. So hold on, wait. Let's move this over here. This goes on top. Okay. I am going to have, I'm going to flip up. Yeah. All right, we're going to dump two resources to play the gauntlet. So we got two gauntlet action going on right now. Just save that there. Let's play Electra. So she's there. That's fine. All right. Ironheart is going to attack the sleeper and ping off the top. It gets retaliated, so that's knocked out. That's fine. Then, what we're going to do is... We're going to use one gauntlet to, to deal one damage here, and we get retaliated one. Then we're going to use Ingenuity and B-Cop to play Supersonic Punch to deal four damage and take out the Sleeper. So... Uh, when defeated, remove this from the game. This now gets removed. Um, when the sleeper is defeated, remove this card from the game. That is now removed. So we don't have to worry about those anymore. Now, I can use my arc reactor to ready myself up. And then we're going to thwart three off of here. So two, three. After you defeat a side scheme, exhaust this card. Does that count as defeating? Ah, I'm not going to do it. Just in case. I'm not 100% sure on that works. All right. Electra is going to deal three damage here. Shang-Chi is going to deal two more and knock him out. Uh, the helmet can remove one threat, right? That's fine. Cool. Let's ready up. Draw six cards. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then we draw... Um, what would this be? One, two, three, four, five cards. Okay. One, two, three, four, five cards for Tony. For Tony Stark. Did it in the cave. All right, we got the armor, which is great. Uh, so we'll probably do the armor and then play White Tiger. And then that will help us remove a lot of threat. Yeah, okay, we're, we're, we're cooking now. And we got rid of sleepers, so that's good. Sensor the past uh, comes in with six. So five, six. All right, uh, so Red Skull is going to go here first. So he's going to scheme for three, four, five. That brings up to 12 out of 16. And then it's going to attack me. Uh, Shang-Chi is going to take the block. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. Knocks out Sean. Should just put this token on there. All right. Good news. Captain, Mar uh, Captain America has one bad card. Bad news. Iron Man has three. However that happens. I don't even know anymore. Uh, it comes with tough. That's fine. All right. First one. Uh, Red Skull gains retaliate. Okay. Oops. That is super blurry. Sorry about that. Uh, he doesn't have guard anymore, but he does have retaliate. So that's fine. We'll deal with that later. Uh, insight one. Attached to a side scheme. When attached to a side scheme is defeated, deal the first player an encounter card. So this just goes on to there. We will defeat that, but we'll deal with that later. And then this one is when reveal exhaust a character you control for each side scheme and play. There's one side scheme. We'll exhaust Iron Man because we can just ready him up. That's fine. I keep Electra to helpfully help with that. Okay. I almost want to get rid of this because if we ping the tough off of here, we can deal five damage, which is a lot. Um, and it's not an attack, it's dealing damage. That might be good. Actually, no, we should probably keep it just in case, in case we get a lot of minions. Um, geez, my camera's having a hard time right now. That's why I got to improve my camera. All right, so. We're going to dump three cards to play the suit. To give us six more lives, so we're up to 13. I'm going to play White Tiger for free. After you play White Tiger, exhaust uh, Jerry Mental. And we're going to move three threat from a scheme. This brings us down to three total. So it's at six. Uh, we're going to use the armor 
to ready myself up. And then we're going to thwart three and get rid of this. We have to do this. So we draw a card. It's the boots. That's nice. All right. When defeated, each player chooses up to three cards in a discard pile and shuffles them into their deck. And then when attached size game is defeated, deal the first player and counter card. So this goes away. This goes in. The, all right. Three cards from our discard pile get shuffled in. So we'll do um, a pistol, Shang-Chi, and a punch. And then we have to do it with the uh, captain in a second. Okay. Uh, in cap, we'll get heroic strike, a double, and a double. Yeah, we'll do that. Get him, get him resource rich here at the end. I'm sure that won't backfire. <laughs> Okay, um, so now White Tiger, because we just put it into play, we'll thwart three off of here. So this is down to 10. Uh, we'll deal the gauntlet, we'll deal a damage, take off the tough. We'll do the other gauntlet. We still don't have aerials, so that'll deal one damage. Uh, we could do the helmet to remove one threat, brings it down to nine. That's everything on this side, minus Electra who can remove two threat from here. Keep that down. Okay, that's good. That's everything there. Let's go to Steve's side. Um, okay. We're gonna deal four damage. Not gonna. I'm gonna exhaust Steve's apartment to heal up one. It brings up to 10 life. And we get to draw a card. One of each resource. Oh, we do have, we have to lose our serum. Oh, no, we don't. We can use the serum. I think we're going to do that. Let's throw away two cards to play a serum. Okay. Um, do I heal the three? Yeah, we're going to heal the three. Go up to 13. Flip up. We're going to use a mental... Energy and one of these to get rid of this card. So it no longer has retaliate. We're going to use the other one. No, we're not. There's nothing to use it for. We're going to throw away shield block so we can do this all day. And then we're going to deal two damage to him. So it brings down to 28. Moon Knight is going to deal two more damage. You know, 26. Okay. 26 life. Um, we'll hold on to Sharon. Sharon. Okay. Let's ready up. So. We have. One, two, three, four, five, six cards we get. Yeah, six cards. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, cool. So now we can play the boots and we can move on with our lives. That's good. Good, 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 good. Um, now, Cap readies everything. He has one, two, three, four, five. Didn't even get the doubles. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's fine. All right. So, two goes on here. We reveal a side scheme. Uh, Hydra reinforcements when defeated. The player who defeated this scheme discards a non elite. Okay, that's fine. So that comes with four. We have to get an extra back card in a second. First player, uh, Electra, is going to get attacked by this. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Ouch. Should just put this ready token on here. Uh, now going to attack Moon Knight. One, two, three damage. Knocks out Moon Knight. Should probably just defend that, but whatever. All right, extra back card here. And then back card here. So, first back card is. Oh, wait, wait. Not extra back card. We have to do another back card. That was original back card. Now we have to do an extra one for Hydra reinforcements. Okay. Gets his gun. Gets his little wimpy gun. Gets a suit. Test a Red Skull. When Red Skull activates, give him an additional boost card for each side's game in play. Holy cow. All right, he's stacked. Uh, okay, so he is hero. Give Red Skull a tough status card, and Red Skull attacks you. Um, we're gonna have Giant Man block all of this. 
So it's going to be one, two, three. It gets an additional boost card for this activation. Then discard this card. A, a lot. It's just a lot of damage. Spoiler alert, a lot of damage, but he loses this card at least. All right, now it goes to Captain America's side. Okay, I think we're doing all right. We have to get rid of his gun because it's ranged and piercing. We need to get rid of Hydra reinforcements. We're going to do so much. So much right now. All right, we have to get rid of one of each resource. Can we do that? One, two. One, two. Mm. I don't think so. At least not yet. All right, let's do... Uh, bu 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 bum. Uh, if we do three, we can't do Agent 13. We can't do both. So, what? Okay, what we'll do is attack to take off the tough. Then we're going to do one, two, and a fist resource to do heroic strike, deal six damage, brings it down to 20, and we'll stun him. Then we can play Ant Man with the other resource, the other pin resource, so he gets one life. I don't know what we do with that yet. I don't know if we attack or what. We're holding the Sharon Carter for now. All right, so Iron Man time. So Iron Man. We're going to play the boots. So let's rearrange this to our normal way of doing this because we're going to gain aerial and that's going to let us do a lot more damage. Um, so what we'll do is first gain aerial. Solid. Solid moves, I know. Um, okay, so we'll use the helmet to remove... One threat from here, one threat from here. We can exhaust to remove three threat from here and defeat this. When defeated, the player who defeated this, uh, we have no non-elite minions, so we have to worry about that. Um, in doing so, we can do this, draw a card. Um, okay, that's good. And then, yeah, we drew a card, we're good. Let's ready up Iron Man uh, through the arc reactor. Can't get rid of any of those cards yet. All right, so let's do White Tiger. It's going to thwart three. Keep this down. I can also thwart three. Keep this down. I'm going to use a double to play the pistol. I don't know what we do with that yet, but that's fine. Do we play the other pistol? Yeah, let's dump both these cards to play the other pistol. See if that sets us up in the long term for a, a better move or whatever. All right, let's exhaust both of these. Deal four damage total. So he's down to 16 life. And I think that's it. I think that would be everything then. Um, yeah, that would be everything. So let's ready up Cap. Ant-Man's going to actually hang out there for a little bit. Doing whatever. Uh, three... Four, five, okay. Okay. And then we're going to draw seven on this side because we have so much tech right now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Luckily, side schemes don't even matter to us anymore. All right, Nick Fury is good. Pepper Potts is really strong. Okay, cool. So this comes in with two. Uh, Hydra Patrol comes in. When defeated, we have to look for Hydra Minions. Comes in with four. I can easily clear that out. All right, Red Skull is going to attack us first. He's stunned. Then he's going to attack White Tiger. So it'll be one, two, three, four, plus nothing. Knocks out White Tiger. White Tiger's gone. All right, uh, we have a bad card already. So a bad card and another bad card. First one is, all right, Steve Rogers. We will flip down and exhaust and remove this card from the game. This one is... Oh, wait, no. That was just that. We just have one bad card then. Yeah, there shouldn't be a side scheme. My bad. Spreading lies. We're going to be able to place two threat in each scheme in play. Two, 
Doesn't even matter to us, really. All right. Yeah, I guess we only have one backward. Okay, cool. My bad. My bad. All right, now to Iron Man. So, one, two, three, four. We're going to dump four cards to play Nick Fury. You draw three. One, two, three. Excuse me. Let's do... We could play Pepper, but I'm not going to yet. Let's gain Ariel. Yeah, we're going to gain Ariel. Then what we're going to do is use the helmet to remove one threat from here. One threat from here because we're Ariel. Um, I'm going to remove three threat. So this is down from five to two. We'll ready yourself up. We'll remove, this should be unexhausted. Do three more. We get rid of this. Now, I have to do that in a second. Each player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a Hydra minion and puts in play and engage with them. Um, that one. And that one. Cool. This goes in the discard pile. Um, cool. And then I have to exhaust this so I can draw a card. The boots. Oh, I never gave myself plus one life again for the boots. I keep forgetting to do that. <laughs> we'll throw away Mockingbird to put in a boot to give herself plus one life because now we'll remember. My bad on that chat, but that's all right. All right, so we'll use Power Gauntlets both times. One for two, one for two. Because we're Ariel. I'm going to throw away two cards. We're Ariel to do Supersonic Punch to deal 18, or eight damage. Bring him down to eight life. Big old punches. We'll own the pepper pots for now. Um, all this is used. Nick can now thwart two off of there. Keep that down. Um, we can. You know, we might as well use the pistols too. We'll deal two more damage. We'll use each of them. So he's down to six life. All right. Cool. Gain piercing and range. Oh, hopefully, I haven't retaliated him with that. I don't. I can't remember if I did or not with that gun. Hopefully I didn't. I keep forgetting that. Where's the range token? I should put that on so I don't forget. That's where we have our tokens, right? All right, so now it's Steve's turn. So we'll use Steve's apartment to heal one, back up to full life of 14. We draw a card. It's another double. We get an extra back card. All right, so we will use a... Blue double. All right, we'll flip up first. Use a blue double to play Squirrel Girl. It deals the damage. Down to five. Then we'll use two. We'll use a double. Oops, I put this in the wrong discard pile. Two, a double, and one of our serums to play Agent 13. She gets to remove uh, two threat from this game. Now, we'll exhaust Squirrel Girl and Agent 13 to do two more damage total. So it's three damage. They each get one consequential. And we'll hold on to our doubles and just ready up. All right. We are cooking with gas now. We're doing well. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, cool. We can push him over. Does he come in with tough? No, he doesn't. Okay. Push him over. Go hard. Hopefully do well. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. That's a good hand. It's a good hand for us. Okay, cool. All right, so this comes in with two onto here. Side scheme. Uh, this has now been depleted, so we reshuffle it. When defeated, we look for an ally and stuff. All right, we'll deal with that in a second. So, comes in with six. And when defeated. Okay. Uh, first player is this side. It's going to attack. Nick is going to block it. So, it's going to be one, two, three, four, plus nothing. Nick gets knocked down. Now he's gonna attack this side. Uh, Squirrel Girl will block this for one, two, three, four, five, six. Squirrel Girl gets knocked out. All right, uh, back card this side, back card this side. All right, let's go, let's go. Uh, okay, quick strike, uh, deals two damage, that's fine. We'll take the hit, so down to 12 life. All right, this one is uh, Hero. Give Red Skull a tough card. And he attacks you. Uh, we're going to have him attack Agent 13. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Ouch. 
she gets knocked out. And we have to deal with that tough. Bad card is the villain schemes. Of course he does. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten total out of sixteen. All right. There is no guard on, but he does have a tough. We need to ping one damage off, basically. That should be ready up. All right. So what we'll do. We'll do four plus one of our resources to play Giant Man. We'll take off the tough. We're going to throw away U.S. Agent to do this all day. Now, I will deal two and Ant-Man will knock himself out, knocking out Red Skull into the next stage. Um, still has range. Wait, Ant-Man is knocked out. He comes in with now uh, 40 life. We deal each player an encounter card. So that one and that one. Ant-Man's gone. Okay. Then what we do is Giant Man is going to deal four damage. Bring him down to 36. Okay. Cool. That's that. A hole on the Falcon. There's not much to do with that. That's fine. Um, that's all fine. That's all good. So we'll go into this side now. Tony Stark side. Let's do let's do Ariel, right? So everything's Ariel, so we're all set with that. Um, I'll remove three threat from here. So this is down to three. I'll use the arc reactor to ready up myself and then do another three. Gets rid of this. So each player who uh I'm sorry, the player defeated this scheme may search their deck and discard pile for an ally and puts it into play. So we can look for an ally to put in the play. I'm going to look for Nick Fury. Put Nick Fury into play. Now, Nick Fury, when he enters play, will give us three cards. One, two, three. Yeah, I was hoping more other stuff. That's all right. All right, let's just flip this around a little bit. Okay. Um, all right, let's use a double to play where Ariel Supersonic Punch deals eight damage, brings him down to six, seven, eight, twenty-eight. Um, what we'll do is the helmet will remove one threat, so it's down to nine. Might as well, right? Shang Chi will enter play. Uh, we'll spend a energy to stun an enemy. Stun him. Piercing. Okay, yeah, we're fine. Still. Let's discard one, two, three, four. Oops, let's hold on to that one. Let's go one, two, three, four cards to play War Machine. Let's keep this over here so remember it. Okay. So now, Nick and Sean, they're each going to do a damage. So Nick takes the damage. He takes damage. That's four damage total, which brings him down to 24. War Machine is going to exhaust and deal two damage. I'm not even going to worry about Hydra Jet Trooper because we have a lot of life right now. Or enough life, I should say. Deals two damage, down to 22. Uh, we're going to do two and two, which is four. So it brings him down to 18. And we'll do the pistols each. So it brings down two more, which brings down to 16. Okay. That's good, right? And he is stunned for one turn. Okay, yeah, that's fine. All right, let's ready up Steve. Uh, we'll throw away Falcon. We don't need him right now. So, one, two, three, four, five. Big money. Uh -uh, not really. Ready up Iron Man, who's been carrying all game, basically. So we got one, two three already we got an extra bad cards so we're gonna have a lot of bad cards with iron man and we get to shuffle all this up we won't have the sleeper which is good oh wait we could do laser cannon which will help a lot too that could be our final push card 
All right, so one, two, three, we need a big attack. Four, okay. Five, big attack, big attack. Uh, wasn't our big attacks. Okay, that's fine. So now two goes here. This comes in, sense of the past. It's one defeat, it comes in with six. So five, six. Now Red Skull is going to attack Captain America first, but he's stunned. No allies. Now he's going to attack me. And sorry, these should be unexhausted. He's going to attack Nick Fury. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six damage. Knocks out Nick Fury. Let's just make sure. Um, the player who defeated this game searches the deck to scrap off for an ally. Puts it in play. Did I do this for both before? I can't remember if I accidentally did both before. If I messed up on that, I apologize. Um, so that knocks him out. Okay, then Jet Trooper is going to deal two damage. Goes on a 10. I feel like I did. I feel like I accidentally put two allies in on prison camps. Uh, but I can't remember. Okay. So now that was all that. Now bad card here. All right. We have a lot of bad cards to deal with. So this one first is okay. So he's going to get stronger for an attack. Hopefully it doesn't happen. Uh, each Hydra mini engaged with a hero makes an attack against that hero. Each hero that was not. Okay. So he does two against us. So we're down to eight life. We did not have one, so we have to look for a Hydra minion. We want the same ones before, the regular. Put them into play. Uh, let's put them away, discard pop, puts into play, engage with them, and shuffles the encounter deck. Okay, cool. Bad card. All right, force response. Okay, we don't have to worry about that. More enemies is fine. We don't care. Uh, quick strike is going to deal two more damage to us. We'll take it. We're down to six. As long as we hang on. <sighs> It would not be a D20 stream. It would not be a D20 series if we didn't get this on like the very last push, right? We should probably win here, but why would you not get it at the very end? So Whiplash comes in with Retaliate. I have so many enemies to deal with. Uh, this is another side scheme. One reveal, so that's up to five. And we're going to shuffle three bad cards in there that we would have to deal with. So first player is now Iron Man. I don't care about any of these minions. They mean nothing to me. They mean nothing to me. Hopefully they mean nothing to me. So first we'll gain the aerial trait. Let's throw away surveillance team to play repulsor blast onto him. So it's down to 15. Discard five. Come on. One, two, three, four. This hasn't hit the entire series for max amount. Just five energies. There's one. No. There's two. It would be better if we draw on them. So that's four damage. So he's down to 11 life. Okay. We can we can make do with that. We're going to dump a double and a surveillance team to play Mockingbird to stun Red Skull. Mockingbird is going to deal one damage. Brings him down to 10. Uh, War Machine deals two damage. Brings him down to eight. Shang-Chi deals two damage. Brings him down to six. Uh, we're aerial, so we're going to do two, four. Brings him down to two life. He doesn't have guard, right? Nothing has guard. Retaliate, quick strike, quick strike, force response after, yeah, that's fine. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Okay. He has two life. Um, so what we could do is the helmet to remove one threat from each scheme. Just assume I did that. We could do two damage with each of these. So he's down to zero. One damage, ready up. One damage, and that's the end of just Iron Man's turn. Now, our turn, four damage. Um, we can do two, three cards to play Black Knight, deal two more damage. Two more damage, throw away a card, ready up to do this all day, two more damage. That was a lot of damage at the end. We did it. If, if there was a mess up in the beginning with prison camps, imagine I thwarted or something. Like there, there's so much extra stuff there that we, we could have figured it out. We would have figured it out earlier. We crushed it there at the end. That was exhausting. The victory is Hydra is defeated and the players win the game. I'm not going to read the conclusion. I've read enough. I've done enough. But that is, you can't even see half the cards anymore. I feel like this board state kept getting pushed around. There's just so much going on there. But that was a great final push at the end. It was really strong and really good. Um, yeah, that was nuts.
That was absolutely nuts. Um, really quick final thoughts. I thought Cap was going to carry, and he did not. The Alley Swarm build did really terrible for me. It just wasn't good enough and didn't get built out correctly for me. Uh, mainly because he was blocking with allies so much, I feel like. Uh, but I will say Iron Man, straight up carried. And I even used Laser Cannon. I'm sorry, I should have used Laser Cannon. Deal 5 damage, deal 5, five damage. I didn't even get to use this. <laughs> um, actually, Laser Cannon would have been really nice on this side if I would have had it. Um, because then I could have done 5 damage, 5 damage, 5 damage, 5 damage, and then 5 damage. That would have been sweet, but whatever. That's a whole other thing. But yeah, this was... A great finale. This is a great way to end the series. I'm exhausted from this. Um, but yeah, Iron Man just carried there at the end. It was absolutely cool to see how much he did. Uh, he was really strong. Like It didn't take long to get him built out. And once he was built out, man, it just... He went to the races and just really took off. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Cap, again, kind of... I mean, he did his thing in the beginning and did it well. So that was good. That was useful to us. But it was still weird. It feels like Cap should have been much stronger in this game. And I just... I don't know. I don't know what it was. It just felt like the Ally Swarm didn't ever click all the way. It felt like I was missing something. Probably should have had some uh, rapid responses to make life a little bit easier getting some more mini or allies in there. But they would just get decimated so fast by everything that it just it didn't work out great for them. But whatever. Um, it was still an amazing game. It was still a lot of fun. A lot of fun. That was really cool. Really good. Uh, yeah. So I want to thank you all. Thank you all for being here on this journey. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed uh, this this whole thing, right? Hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, this was, this is pretty fun to go through the campaign to do expert two handed. Like all that stuff was really cool. Uh, if this gains a lot of traction on YouTube, we'll consider doing uh galaxy's most wanted after this. Um, if it's a thing that people enjoy, we'll look at doing it probably not right away, but we'll do it at some point. Um, but yeah, this was a lot of fun. This was really enjoyable. Um, hopefully you all enjoyed being here and being part of this. Like I said, make sure to like subscribe, all that fun stuff. It helps out the channel a ton. I'm going to go take a nap. That was exhausting. I did all this in two days, just behind the scenes baseball here. I uh, did it in two days, and it was just a very tough campaign, an exhausting campaign, but it is done. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this entire series. I appreciate you all. Thank you all so much for watching. Share the video. Share the playlist of this. Get this out there. See you all next time.